In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace your windshield washer tank on this Toyota Camry. It's located behind your front bumper. We'll have to take that off, so let's get started. I'm going to start underneath the vehicle and remove the splash shield from the bumper. You'll see three 10 millimeter screws, one in the corner and two on the front here. Let's remove all three. This one holds both shields on. And this one in the corner goes through this little splash guard for the wheel or the wind deflector. And it also holds the splash shield and then into the bumper. Now do the same exact thing on the other side of the vehicle. You'll have three screws laid out the same way. On the side, you'll see a clip that looks like this. You basically have to turn it 90 degrees, just like that. That should unlock it so that you can pop it out just a little bit, not all the way. And that will allow you to pop the bumper cover out of here. If you don't unlock it, it could break. So keep that in mind. With that loose, you'll see a little Phillips head push clip here. So with a small screwdriver, try to unthread it. If it doesn't want to unthread, you're going to need something to help pry it out as you unthread. This is most of the time too small for a trim tool. So I can try to use this, but uh, the head of it is pretty much going to slide right through. But if you can get it unthreaded just a few turns, you should be able to pop the rest of it out. Sometimes spraying a little bit of rust penetrant in there can help. And then work it in and out. Try not to break this unless you're planning on replacing it. There we go. That's much better. You don't have to remove the center all the way out, but if you get it most of the way out, this should pop right out. Perfect. And now you'll be able to take this bumper cover and pry it outwards. It's just held on with some clips up here. There we go. That popped out. Now, if you go from underneath on each corner, if your vehicle has fog lights, press on the tab and unplug the fog light bulb. All right, do the same to the other one. At the top, let's remove this entire piece that covers the top of the bumper cover here so we can get all the push clips out from underneath it. This itself is held on with a bunch of push clips all across, so remove them all. To remove these, you want to push the center down if you have this style, unless yours have been replaced, and then pop the rest out. Now you can remove this whole piece, set it aside. Underneath that, next to each headlight, you'll see another push clip that looks like this. Pop the center out and remove the outer piece. Do the same next to the other headlight. In the center, you have another one of these push clips. Now look on each headlight right behind the grill and you'll see another push clip that looks like that. Pop both of them out. There's one on each headlight, like I said. There we go. Take that out. There's also one right in the center below the hood latch. And this should be the last one holding this bumper cover onto the front of the vehicle. All right, now you can take your bumper cover and pull it right off. Here's our washer tank. There are three 10 millimeter fasteners holding this on, two bolts and one nut. For this one, you'll definitely need a deep socket because it's on a long stud. On the front of it, disconnect this fog light connector. If your uh, vehicle has this on here, it's just clipped on. Push it through, set it aside. This is obviously still full of washer fluid. If yours is already empty because it's broken or whatever the case might be, well, that works out for you, but uh, I have to be careful not to spill too much. So I'm gonna take this off of that stud and then on the back side is where all the wiring is. So once I pull it away a little bit, I can have access to it. Right here I have this retainer for the wiring harness. I'm gonna try and pop it through. There we go. Get this hose off of here. Unplug the pump. And the level sensor. And now, when I pull this hose off, off of the pump, it's going to leak. So I'm gonna uh, plug up the pump side really quickly. All right, the hose will not leak. And there is your washer tank. 
bring the new tank in and plug the hose into the new pump, just like this. All right, make sure that's bottomed out completely so that it has a nice seal and obviously doesn't leak everywhere. Now let's plug in the two electrical connectors, one on the pump, make sure they click and same with the one on the level sensor. All right, bring the tank up into position. Don't forget to reattach the hose on the back side here, as well as the clip, the retainer for this wiring harness. All right, line up the stud on the bottom and the bolt holes, once everything's lined up, secured in place. If you had this wire, bring it back over and secure it over here. At this point, if you wanted to fill up your washer tank, go ahead so you can test it before you put everything back together. Now take your bumper cover, bring it over, make sure you don't scratch your headlights or your fenders, line it up. It should fit nice and flush around the headlights. On each side, you'll see that the bumper needs to connect into that plastic bracket up there. Tap it in. Also make sure the fender liner is behind the bumper cover, which it is not. So I'm gonna have to tuck it just like that. Up here we had a push clip, small one. Down here we had this clamp style retainer. Press that bumper cover into it, press this in and turn it 90 degrees to lock it. There we go. Don't forget to plug in your fog lights if your vehicle has them. Make sure the connector clicks. Here you want to make sure you tuck the uh, splash shield underneath the bumper cover. However, where it comes to these clips, you want it to be over them. So it has to look something like this. Tucked here, over, and then tucked again, and then over, and then on the other side, same thing. Tuck it here and then over. Let's put in the screws that hold all of this together. Don't tighten them up too much. You're gonna break that plastic insert. And do the same to the other side. Now let's put the push clips back. Sneak your hand in here, stick this one through, clip it down. Do the same to the one on the other side and this one in the center. Then there were three at the top. Then put this on and all the push clips that go on here. There you have it, it's all reinstalled. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.